Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am outside. It is bright and sunny. It's beautiful out here. And I want to walk around and do a little bit of exercise. So I thought I would share some friend mail that came in the mail this morning. Uh, before I get started with the walk, you can hear the ducks talking and the chickens. And you might be able to hear the cicadas and, and stuff in the background. But this is so... Uh, package from our friends at dream big productions plush bat fan so we thank first of all thank them for thinking of us and they sent me uh, a souvenir of arizona non-witting lottery tickets that have expired to keep as a souvenir so let me just set that down y'all it's a lot of lottery tickets let me tell you and um, it looks like they're all from this year, maybe some from last year in here. So I hope that you will win on one of these tries that you're doing in the future. And thank you very much for sending me these. Um, Y'all can see it's Arizona Lottery. They're a little different than ours. So I think that's great that they sent those. They spent a lot of money, though. So thank you very much again for thinking about me. Y'all go check out Dream Big Productions Plush Bat Fan. I will link them in the description box and the description of the video or the title of the video. Um, they're a great supporter of my channel, and I truly, truly appreciate their friendship. So let's go check out and see what's going on around our neck of the woods. Tomatoes starting to come in. Our garden got put in very, very late. And so our tomatoes are not doing really, really well. And we haven't been able to keep up with the garden as we should have this year. It's just been really wild around here. But I thought I'd show you some of the the blooms. Where are they? Here they are, the blooms and some of the tomatoes. We're going to get a few tomatoes out of our tomato vines. Most of them, like I said, have died back. Um, we had a good rainy season, and then we had like a, about two weeks of no rain. So this one's dying back. We even have a little sunflower in there that's starting to die back. And a lot of our vines have not produced anything but blooms. And I don't know why, because we have honeybees. So it's just, you know, a hit and miss this year. This will probably be our last year really growing anything in buckets. My husband and I have really decided we need to go back to planting in the earth. And there's some more tomatoes. And y'all pardon the muddy water. My ducks have been playing in it all day. We got some chickens over here by our containers. There's a duck up there another duck i need to go collect eggs and there's one of our new little baby hens so let me go grab the basket and let you see my face as we're walking along it is bright and beautiful out here it's getting a little bit warm now but it was cool this morning and i've noticed that the deer in our area have um really dark coats so I'm assuming that we are fixing to have a very hard winter because it is rather early for their coats to be so dark I put my chair up well I'm trying to put my chair up and it fell there we go that way they don't blow away so I'm gonna grab my basket and we're gonna walk We've got um, nest boxes out here in the yard, and then we've got some in the, the pens. My husband has finally gotten rid of all the wasp 
as far as we know we haven't seen any wasp flying around so I think it's safe for me to come out and do some egg collecting and hubby has put some straw out or some hay out and we've got three eggs <sighs> And I'm checking them to make sure that they don't have any pick holes. They really like that trumpet vine. They like getting in the shade. There's one of our buff Orphingtons. It looks like we got some kind of melon seed growing over here that I didn't know about. So we'll have to wait and see if we get any melons out of this. It looks like we've got some forming. I'm not sure if this is watermelon or cantaloupe. Got some ducks that are underneath the container. Let's see if we can shoot them out. There they go. That's the baby ducks, y'all. Look at them. They're not babies anymore. Aren't they beautiful? I have no clue as to what kind they are other than runner ducks. And they're going around more and more to the older ducks. There's our turkey with a bumblefoot that's being doctored. She's still kicking, y'all. She's still moving around. And we're continuing to doctor her. She gets um, sulfur in her water at night for one week. And we change the bandage out every other day. So hopefully she'll get better. Her foot swelling is going down, thankfully. So we're thankful for that. There's one of our pretty young girls. That's one of the new hens. And there's Mr. Roo. They like hanging out in the shade. Especially when the sun is out full blast like it is right now. There's that pretty girl. And some of the ducks are back underneath in the shade. We have nine eggs today, and one was just freshly laid, so hopefully they will be laying some more eggs soon. And this piece of wood you see behind it is a crepe, crepe myrtle that I picked up off the side of the road that I'm going to use in a project, and I'm trying to dry it out. So we're going to use that in a project in the near future. Be blessed, everybody. Thank you for watching.